So what's up guys, John from Heavyset Tactical. Just wanted to do a quick knife discussion. Uh, it it rained for so many days straight that I, I didn't go out and shoot a bunch of videos, plus I was working a lot this week. So um, I felt an injustice uh, about the Reef F5 uh, and S5 glider. So guys, I'd like to show you some up close uh, a more up close video let you see a little bit more of them I know it's been kind of hush hush so you haven't seen a lot about uh, the reef f5 and s5 glider um, this is the reef s5 glider which is the Scandi 5 and I'm gonna show you guys how they differ from the 4 and Scandi 4 uh, and this is the f5 which is just a regular saber um, yeah, definitely a functional blade, but there are uh, a few minor changes from the 4 uh, series, and I wish I had my 6 here so we could look at them all. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys a similar up-close video. We're going to talk about the differences between the 4, um, the 4s and 5s with the sheaths, uh, and what I think about kind of the whole package. Uh, I was nice enough to get these sent to me uh, from Stu over at Reef Knives, so thank you very much for sending me these uh, to do some testing with. Now, this being said, you know I didn't I didn't want to do like a sneak preview short with the unboxing and never put out a video about these. Obviously, I'm going to, and a hard use video at that. We're going to really test these out. But um, as far as just getting to see them, see if it's something you want to put an order in for when they're coming out, uh, let's you know let's talk about them a little more in depth ne next to the fours. So guys, I hope you can hear me okay. I'm using this cutting board in my bright kitchen, so you guys could get a good look at these. So first up, we're gonna talk the uh, the F5. This is the new Reef F5. Um, this is a CPM3V uh, OD Green Micarta variant. That's it in my, my full hand with some purchase there. Very bulbous handle. And I'm going to put it next to the OD Green Reef F4. So you can kind of see the, the, the size difference here. Uh, I wish I had a little bit better of a camera setup, but I want you to be able to see the differences here in size and shape um, because it is essentially just a larger version of the Reef F4 uh, being the 5 inch. So first we're going to talk about the sheaths, a little bit different of a texture, different texture on the Kydex, uh, very similar in design. A uh, lot better of a drainage hole there, um, which is nice. The ferro rod this time, instead of connecting to the back and coming out to the front of the sheath, it bolts right on the front here. Uh, as far as the sheaths go, there is a positive retention click, but it's it's not very much. It holds okay, but there's a pretty good amount of rattle, um, just to let you guys know. Uh, so that is one thing. Now, guys, this is, <clears throat> I, th I believe they're still, yeah, see, the F4 uh, had a really nice, pretty nice seat in there. There's still the large collars up onto the handles. Uh, so, again, this is not a slam video of, or of any kind. I'm just letting you guys know, uh, you know, what the 4 you know, kind of the older like model here, the four versus the fives looks like, so you can kind of make a idea if you want to make a purchase on your own. So guys, Reef knives, they are very expensive, but they, you know, as far as the quality goes, um, you know, this is a knife that you can buy and take out and use, and it's going to do what you need it to do, about as good as most other knives, you know what I mean? This is a pretty hard use knife and their 3V is not bad uh, super thick behind the edge with their convexed edges um, so 
There is the F4 and the F5. And I'll give you another. Pretty good retention on that sheath on the F4. So these are, are them back to back. Front to front. So just a little bigger on the handle and pretty, pretty significant size on the blade there. So now, if we take a look at the Scandies. So let's, let's, let me make sure this camera's okay. Yeah, let me move it a little closer. Now let's look at the F4 Scandy versus the S5 Glider. Okay, so again, guys, I am gonna be doing some hard use testing with these. I really just wanted to give you guys a more up close look because it is still raining today. It rained all day. So this video will be finishing up, you know, I'll be finishing up by the end of the weekend, the hard use video. So guys, this is the Reef F4 Scandy and it comes with a JRE Industries leather sheath, which you can't really complain about. I mean, they're just good sheaths. Uh, and this really, really does fit nice, pretty good retention. Uh, takes most sizes of ferro rod. Uh, a really pretty decent package there. Now the only thing I could really say uh, about the Reef F4 in, an, in any kind of negative connotation is that it's pretty thick for a Scandi. You know, most uh, four inch Scandies would be a little bit thinner of a profile, but I think they're going for just a really, really tough Scandi. Um, which, you know, if that's what you're looking for, it is. So this is the F4 Scandi in green micarta against the uh, S5 glider. So instead of doing the F4, F5, or I mean F5, F5 Scandi, they went with F5, S5 glider. So here is the 4 Scandi on the bottom against the Reef F5, S5 glider. Just after having so many F-series knives, I'm going to keep messing that up. So there's a close-up of them side by side. The handle profile is very similar. The butt's very similar. Reef, interestingly enough, does not put a protruding tang on the end of any kind. It is nice and flat, I guess, in case you wanted to hammer with it. But uh, there is no tang protruding. It's nice and flush there. So guys, this is the S5 glider. Uh, you know, decently comfort hand, comfortable handle. Uh, the thickness is what I, you know, they kept it the same exact thickness in the 3V as the F S4, but it's longer and a little bit more broad, um, especially out towards the tip there. You can see the grind is, stays nice and broad out towards the tip. So you're going to have, you know, a little bit more laid back of an edge. So it'll cut a little better than the four. So I'm going to put that back in its sheath. This is the sheath of the uh, S5 glider. Still lacking a little in retention. Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of us like that positive click. This is... It, it does have a more positive click than the other one, um, and no rattle on this one. So it could have just been a been a bum sheath with the uh, F5, or this could be a you know a prototype sheath. Has that same 360 belt clip, nice and tight. I never had much luck uh, carrying mine scout like that, but horizontal carrying it was decent. It was completely fine. You know, you, if you guys are like me, I always upgrade the clips on my sheaths. But this one, uh, as you can see on the F4, I kept it and carried it quite a bit. I never had a problem, never had a break. Uh, stayed on my belt pretty good. So no rattle there on the uh, S5. So you can see this is the F4 and this is both sheaths. So you can see they're the same Kydex on the S5 glider as the F5. Now let's look at these together. So guys, in overall presentation, they have that nice dark 
uh, tumbled finish on them. Almost looks like it has a, a, a pre-acid wash on them and then tumbled, which is a good look against that, that um, green canvas micarta. So it's going to be a fun time doing some hard use testing on these. Uh, so if I put them next together, the F4, or I'm sorry, uh, the F5 against the S5 glider. The F5 has a much thinner tip because it's a saber, and it is a thicker bar stock. So uh, maybe by, not by much, not by much. So it is a little thicker in overall uh, thickness. But, as you can see, because it's a saber, the tip is a little thinner. So again, these are the Reef F5 and S5 glider. I wanted to show you guys a, a better look, because I, you guys know me. Usually I'll put some an unboxing out, maybe some shorts out, and then I will do a nice hard-use test video. And I definitely owe you guys a video for this one. I keep getting these mixed up. The Scandi will not go in the regular F5 sheath. The sheaths are not interchangeable, and you can see in, it's all in the tip profile there. Just from the grinds being different, they're molded to two different knives. So, might as well lay them all out. And thanks to Stu from Reef Knives for sending me these to take a look at. I'm going to do some hard use testing Try out the handle ergonomics, try out the sheath carrying systems, you know, and kind of get a better idea of what I think in as a whole with these blades. And I'm sure I will have a follow-up video for you guys. Um, but yeah, these are the F4s in 3V, Scandian Saber, and then the F5 and S5 Glider. So thanks again to Reef Knives. Just wanted to give you guys a good look at those so you can kind of see just how big they are uh, when compared to their older counterparts and talk about how the sheaths are right out of the box and what I think about the ergonomics. You know, this is, like I said, a knife you can take out of the box and use uh, very hard. I um, I think they, they went for a very neutral handle so it kind of could be used by medium hands or extra large hands um, you know it's comfortable enough to get some work done with so again I know it's a very amateur video but to, since it's just been constantly raining I wanted to get you guys a, a, a good look at these out and we're gonna do a hard use video this weekend so that'll be out by the end of the weekend guys um, I wanted to just do some side-by-sides so you guys could see exactly what they look like and compare like with against their uh, the fours so I hope that was informative yeah the the s5 glider has a little bit better of a fit with the kydex so guys I hope you have a good night uh, lot lot more video on on these two to come so i hope you enjoyed that uh you know like always guys stay safe thanks for watching and stay heavy